Welcome to Quick Coach, the training library for World Ventures reps on the go. This is part two in our event etiquette mini series for travel parties, luncheons, and big shot hotel meetings during the presentation. Once the event is underway, there's still a lot you can do to make sure it's successful for both you and the rest of the team. First off, even though we're in our seats, our friend is still watching us and our posture. Our friends will never be more excited than we are, so we must set the standard. They're gonna follow our lead, but usually won't go above and beyond our enthusiasm. Still, be you though. Don't be over the top, and as we've said before, don't be weird. Keep that in mind as we continue. The host will welcome everyone and then introduce the speaker, DVD, or online presentation. Once the speaker is introduced, we all need to clap, even if it's just a DVD. And at larger events or with an out-of-town speaker, standing up is even appropriate. Most of our reps are not professional speakers, so as the audience, it's our job to encourage and support the speaker with positive energy. So we must stay engaged. That means phones need to be on silent and kept in our pockets at all times. Nothing, including text messages, should appear to be more important than the presentation. This especially applies when it's a DVD or online presentation. We can start by smiling and leaning forward. When they ask us to raise our hands or ask questions, respond with enthusiasm. Participate, and not the half raise. Actually raise your hand. Laugh at the jokes, even the silly ones you've heard before. This gives our friends permission to engage with us. Taking notes is a great thing to do too. When one of our leaders talked about being newer to World Ventures, they said, I'd be in an event and I was so nervous about their response. I was like petrified. I wouldn't even look at them during the presentation. So by the time it was over, I started freaking out. Oh my gosh, I haven't looked at them in over 20 minutes. Do they like it? Are they mad I invited them? Maybe they want to go on the trip. Are they the next superstar? <sighs> if you're tense or stressed, your friend can feel it. Just relax. Think about it like this. We're at the movies and an exciting preview comes on. We don't just sit there, we nudge our friend and nod like, dude, we're totally seeing that. It's the exact same thing. So when there's a dream trip you wanna go on, look at your friend, smile, nudge them and point to the screen if you've got a favorite part coming up. But this is a fine line. You don't wanna call out comments or stand up with your you should be here sign. Remember, don't be weird. It's also not cool to lean into our friends and start elaborating on something. It's very distracting for the speaker. And what if our friend misses the one thing that would have gotten them to join? And of course, we should never interrupt the speaker with any questions. Next, never get up during a presentation, even if you really have to use the restroom. It de-edifies the speaker and can subconsciously plant the seed with our friends that what's being said isn't important, even if we come back. So stay in your seat, relax, lean forward, get comfortable, laugh at the silly jokes, and participate. The more comfortable we are, the more comfortable our friend will be too. By applying these tips, we've now contributed to a rockin' presentation. Make sure to watch the next video in this mini-series on event etiquette after the presentation. Now get back in the game. Thanks for watching Quick Coach, your go-to solution when you need help fast. To access our complete library of in-depth audio and video trainings, be sure to get the World Ventures Advantage. But for the absolute best training World Ventures has to offer, make sure you reserve your seat at the next live training event. And next time you need a quick tip before you call your mentor, check out Quick Coach.